Hey there, welcome to another edition of the Automate SOC 2 Compliance Series that we're doing here at SANS. I'm AJ Yan, founder and CEO of ByteCheck, SANS Sec 557 associate instructor and contributor to many of the things in the cloud security uh, pathway. This is a series in our Streamline 15 controls, uh, uh, SOC 2 controls on AWS. It's a follow-up to the blog that you'll see there in the comments. Let's, let's go ahead and hop right in so we can talk about what we're gonna automate today. So before we get started, I did want to show some of the cloud security curriculum that we have available here at SANS. Some great courses out there like SEC 510, SEC 4488, which is Cloud Security Essentials, SEC 557, Continuous Automation for Enterprise and Cloud Compliance. Bunch of really great cloud courses that really dive deep into modern technologies and you get your hands dirty in all of these courses that I encourage you to check out. So today we're going to talk about a pretty common control. If you've ever been through a SOC 2 examination, whether you're using automation or you're doing it in a manual manner, you've seen this control. You've seen the security group control in CC 6.6, which says you have security groups that are configured, used and configured to prevent unauthorized access. Your auditors are making sure that you're not allowing 0.0.0.0 to access sensitive resources over SSH or 3389 or other sensitive ports. So today we're going to look at the AWS config rule incoming SSH disabled and show you how to implement this config rule, show you how to auto remediate any security groups that are out there that are allowing anyone to uh, access your resources uh, via port 22 from any IP address, which we, we, we don't want to do at all. And there's many things that you can do now on AWS to eliminate the need for, for forever uh, allowing unrestricted access over SSH. So let's hop in the console and uh, show you how to do this. So similar to the first video that we did in this series where we were talking about S3 bucket encryption, we're going to go ahead and create a config rule using an AWS cloud formation template, which makes things easier for us, uh, both on the management side and for me on the cleanup side. So what I'm gonna do first is like, let's go over to EC2 just to take a look at what security groups currently exist out in this account. Looks like we have a couple instances running, so those should have some security groups. And kind of a dead giveaway that we're going to have some issues here is the, are these launch wizard security groups. If you see launch wizard, you should know that that means that when someone created this EC2 instance or an EC2 instance, they're using the default security group, which unfortunately AWS has the default security group allowing unrestricted access over port 2020, port 22 uh, from anywhere in the world, which is not what we want uh, at all. Let's pop over to AWS config and check out our rule and then also set this auto remediation um, configuration and, and fix this. And, and I'll show you exactly what's gonna happen here. So we have this restricted SSH rule and it's great to see that config has already picked up that we have two security groups that are not in compliance. Uh, and this is the beauty and power of config is that it's gonna automatically go out there and start to tell you what's wrong and what's, you know, what's operating appropriately. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna select what the auto remediation action we want. And we're gonna disable incoming SSH on port 2022, on port 22. I don't know why 22 is bothering me. I wanna say 2022. Uh, but the this is really cool. What happens here is AWS is gonna use systems manager under the hood, like we've talked about. Um, and it's gonna go out and remove that inbound rule set that's allowing access over port 2020s port 22, which is a really great thing because automatically when someone spins up an EC2 instance using that default security group, AWS config behind the scenes is going to go out and fix this uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and tell it to go and get the security group ID from the security group we're evaluating. And then let me put in this IAM role that we've established that has the permissions to remediate these things. Uh, so, you know, you, this will run automatically. We don't have to manually do it, but I do want to show you uh, just how, how, how cool this is for um, uh, on AWS and how you can fix these things. So we're going to remediate both of these. As you, as you saw here, um, that's just the configuration item. We're going to pop over to the managed resource. And earlier today, earlier in this video, when I showed you the, one of these um, uh, security groups, you saw that there was an inbound rule that showed uh, in SSH was allowed, and now that inbound rule is gone. On this one, 
Um, and then if we pop over here to the console, let's hopefully still see that uh, that other security group in here that's non-compliant. Yep, we will see it. This one right here. And it's still showing, but if you pop over here, you're going to see that there's no inbound SSH on this rule. We look at the inbound rules and no security group rules fine. So AWS can fig one out and remove that rule that we don't want to see there. Re just completely eliminated it. You can add some, some communication out to Slack or via email, let you know that this happened. But a great way to eliminate the need for screenshots of security groups or reports of a bunch of security groups out of your, uh, out of your AWS environment for your audit. Uh, and you can just show your auditor like, hey, we have this AWS config rule set up. Here's what we're doing. Here's the auto remediation. Here's the notifications. Uh, and their knowledge of AWS, they should be able to see that they no longer have to do the manual testing for this control. Thank you.